how did this work out compared to past workouts that you've had um, so far in this process? Uh, like I said, it's pretty similar. They're all uh, fairly similar. I just want to see um, some things I didn't show as much in college, so uh, nothing too much different. Is there a player you want to get out there trying to uh, not too much. I've, I've drawn a lot of comparisons to someone like Marcus Aldridge, um, kind of playing in the mid post, and um, he's an underrated passer, which I think uh, I could bring to a team. What about the, the, the shooting range? I know you had good range in college, but being able to show you have the, the uh, NBA three-point range, has that been a, a big part of this? Yeah, it's, it's just an adjustment just because you don't you never practice it in college, so uh, just get more reps of it, and uh, I think I'll become even better at it as uh, I continue to get more reps of it. What kind of feedback did you get from the coaching staff? Uh, I'm going out to lunch with them uh, after this, but um, I had a workout uh, last night, uh, yesterday evening, like 4 o'clock in Minnesota. Um, so, uh, and then like a four hour flight here. So, it's a, a quick turnaround. So, I haven't really talked to him a whole lot yet. The team's looking at you more as a so maybe a four man who can stretch the floor, or a team still talking to you about being in, closer to the basket, playing more traditional five in the league? Uh, a little bit of both, but like I said, I'm not, not the biggest, strongest guy, so, uh, you know, playing more of the four on offense, but, um, you know, I can mix it up. I think it would cause a lot of a lot of mismatches for, for the defense. What's the difference between these individual workouts versus group workouts? Are you trying to work these guys a little bit more harder when they're in the no, individual I mean, situations? Whether it's individual or group, we're going to work them hard regardless. So it doesn't matter who's here. You know, you know, obviously, here we have to use Chris Gent and Bobby Jackson as defenders. You know, so the difference is obviously you like to have guys that are as young, mobile, and as athletic as a guy like Cody to see what he can do against them. But. You know, uh, we make the best of it. He competed at a high level, and uh, to give Chris Gent some love, you know, Chris competed at a high level too. <laughs> hey, Coach, you did have Gent really go at him. Was that sort of one of the things you wanted to see how he dealt with strength and some of his Yeah, I mean, for all the guys, you know, and not just for Cody Zeller. You know, we do a lot of the same things with all the guys that come in here because now we have a baseline to compare, contrast uh, at the end of the day when we finish all of our draft workouts. But uh, you know, we want to see how guys handle it, how tough they are mentally, can they fight through fatigue, how tough they are physically, can they take it hit can they finish around the basket and, uh, and and Cody did all a good job with all those things today is there anything that you saw in Cody's game that may kind of surprise you today that maybe you didn't know he had in his bag of tricks well you can tell he's really working on his three-point shot you know he's, uh, he's working out down in LA right now and he's put a lot of time in uh, you know everybody says that Tommy Crean didn't give him an opportunity to showcase his jump shooting ability and uh, you can tell he's put that time in so I didn't know he had NBA three-point range like he showed today and that's definitely an area that he's put uh, a lot of time and effort into